Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So welcome to the new tutorial of my channel. And today I'm going to make a round table and round table family. A lot of you asked about the curved family. So I just don't want to jump the gun. I just don't want to create something very complex that you will be not able to like, you know, grasp. I just want to like you know go slow and steady where we can reach a certain level and we can make more complicated curved families so this is just the beginning of curved families and curved parameters some of you even asked for the formulas i'm not starting it yet just because of this specific reason i want to go slow and steady so that everyone everyone could grasp as much as they can if i start saying a lot of things a lot of things won't make sense and it will be all for waste so i don't want that so anyways this video is about the curved or round table family and how we can make this family parametric what are the types of parameter that we can include in a curved or a round family so this video will be a very helpful one if you are looking for something like that and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i would request please go ahead hit a like and subscribe people are selling these kind of things on youtube and on instagram making it a course so i'm just sharing it for free just because i think uh, these are the basics that people should know and it should be available for free so without any details let's get started with the video so guys let's get started uh, with the video or the tutorial <laughs> whatever you can say it so uh, this is how your screen will look like this is a furniture family template uh, here you will be able to see like what kind of family template it is and if you want to change this you can go here on the top family categories and parameter and here just click and you can change this family to whatever uh, family type or the family category you want it to be so this is where you change it but we are going to make a round table today so i will keep it on the furniture and press ok so first to start uh, with a round table we need a tabletop okay so what i will do is go on extrusion click on extrusion select the circle tool and click i haven't made any uh, categories subcategories which we will delve upon later but uh, you can have your own categories if you know about the uh, subcategories and things like that so here what i will do is these are two of my reference plane i will make this as the center of my family and these are pinned as well these will come along with the template so let's make it 600 mm wide okay and now just don't finish it click on the circle that you just created click on the center mark make it visible okay this is very important point now align this mark align and lock i have showed this in my previous tutorial so just click on the lock symbol and select this reference plane and just align and then this reference plane select and the center align so now when you will click on the circle you will see two lock marks that means your circle is locked to the center of these two reference plane and this is how we will control the uh, diameter and the radius of our round table okay and here when you click on the circle you will see that a radius mark is appearing just click on this and make it a proper uh, dimension and click okay okay you can now click on this click here and you can just create a parameter that will define the radius just click here okay i'll just show you again so what i did was made a, a dimension over here the radial dimension then went on the label when you click click on the dimension you will see this and then click on create parameter then you will have the uh, parameter property tab then click on and type radius of table okay 
and just click OK. So now we have given it a parameter and now click OK. Now let's test if this parameter works or not. Okay, radius of table. This is the parameter that we just made. Let's make it 1200 mm. Whoa, it is working. So that is good. Now let's go into the front elevation, which is over here. And now you will see, oh, this is not how your tabletop should look like. We already have these two reference planes that we created for a previous family that we made. And I also have given some height parameter. And this is a 30 mm thick, 30 mm thick tabletop. And I have logged this parameter over here. Logged this dimension, not a parameter. This is just a dimension. I can even open it. And if I open it, it will allow me to move this. But if I just undo that, lock it and if I try to move it now see it will move the upper reference plane as well so I don't want to do that I was just showing you how it works now select align tool now your lock is also selected just click on the top reference plane and select the top of your table it will be locked now Select the bottom of the reference plane for the table top bottom and select the base of your table. Okay. Now your table top is logged to the top portion of this. And now if you change the height, for example, let's do it 950. It will go up. Or if I do 650, it will go down. And let's reduce the size to 600. So it will be a small table. Okay. So this is how you create the tabletop. And now we need, let's make one option where we have a central support and a base. Okay. Like how we have like, you know, tables in coffee shop. So let's create the central support extrusion then circle again and now we will select the circle so this is a 600 mm uh, wide or like 600 mm radius table so i don't think so we will need a very thick central support we will make this central support at 50 mm radius which is still very thick but i think it will work select the circle Click on the center mark visible, align, click on this and then center, it is locked. Then click on horizontal, center, lock and now you have a central support that is locked to the uh, central reference plane. Okay. After this, select to the dimension because you know what, why not make everything parametric, right? Let's give a parameter to this center support thickness. Press OK. So we have given a center support thickness as well. We will make it parametric, more parametric, okay? And now let's go to the front view. Again, you will see that this is happening. So now you have to lock it to the base. Align, base, locked, and the top, locked. And if you go in 3D, you will see you have a basic table ready over here. Now we need a base as well, right? So first we will go here, create, create a reference plane, pick lines and create offset. How thick do you think the base should be? I think 30 mm, three centimeter is more than enough. So let's make it 30 mm again and do an offset. And base also we will make a thickness and lock it. Let's align it with the top. Yes. 
it looks good now we will give a base diameter extrusion circle i'm doing this uh, again and again the same thing just so that you can absorb the um, technicality of making a curved family and giving it a dimension so don't think that i'm repeating this again and again this is how a table is made so let's make it 200 mm uh, in radius because we need our table to be stable as well right so click on it center mark visible align vertical align center lock uh, horizontal align center locked and once you do that click okay go in your front view and now lock it to the bottom and lock it to the top and this is how your table will look like okay let's go here and give this as a parameter as well create a parameter let's say base support radius now let's do some um, parametric formulas okay where um the table diameter as the diameter changes you can change the uh, base width as well because of course if i make this table of um, more than 600 mm dia then the base will become too small and it won't look proportionate or it won't look stable or it will look absolutely wrong so let's make formula and let's make parameters that will control the diameter and the diameter of the base as well okay so now we will go into the uh, family type over here click on it let's get rid of the older parameters uh, that is the width i don't need this anymore let's get it deleted depth of course we don't need it anymore let's get it deleted radius of the table uh, base support radius center support thickness okay i should name it radius as well okay so what is diameter diameter is two times the radius so now we will create a new parameter okay so click on new parameter over here type diameter of the table okay table and once you do this now i am teaching you the next step where you can add formulas and how you add formulas this is a very basic a uh, level of formula addition so this section over here you can see it's written formula now you have diameter of table and this parameter is not associated with anything now you will associate it with something that is your uh, radius of the table so select this radius of the table copy copy the text click here paste so radius of the table into 2 for into you have this star 2 now can you see now we have a table that has a diameter of 1200 mm and it is showing us that now let's make another formula where the center support or the base support radius will be controlled by the diameter of the table how so we want we want the uh, base support to always be half of the diameter or half of the radius of uh, the table so here what we will do is control c copy the radius of the table paste here radius of the table now 
we want it to be half of the radius always that will go till like if you have this slash by 2 this means division so we are dividing it by 2 and just click apply can you see it became exactly half of the table now let's arrange these parameters radius base support radius and center support radius center support radius i think so it's fine i don't think we should add more formulas to this and just apply so now let's go in 3d and just see how it will manipulate our table so let's change the diameter of table to 2000 mm and apply can you see the base of the table grows along with the top of the table and this is how you do a basic formula and formula addition in a table family i hope this video was uh, helpful for you i hope you got to learn something from this and if you have any kinds of doubts or queries uh, please go ahead mention it in the comment section next video will be about like you know adding multiple legs to these table like this is a central support table okay what if what if your table has four legs and it's a round table how will it be manipulated if you grow the diameter of the table how those legs will move along with it how you can have legs in circular format and how you can adjust the number of those legs so these are just basic exercises i know if you are an advanced family maker or a family user it will sound very uh, easy for you but this video is focused on people who are very freshly into uh, this family or revit uh, revit interface so if you are an advanced user like don't mind this video is not exactly for you if you are a beginner this video is for you and uh, if you like this video please please go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel this is sunday i'm doing this just for you guys so all i need is your subscription i'm not asking for your money i'm not asking for anything else so subscribe this channel make this channel 100k so that i also feel like okay i'm doing this from past four years and it is helping people i am reaching somewhere it's it's like you know sometimes i feel like you know is it all for nothing like why am i doing this and things like that but then i see some of the wonderful comments that you guys leave and i feel like okay even if 20 people are benefiting i'm happy with that so yeah all i need is your support take care of yourself and i'll see you soon bye bye